Steffi. Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope retaliates and blames Steffi for the bridge breakup. The bold and the beautiful's Hope Logan has taken a lot of crap from Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would. During the past few months on, the bold and beautiful. Granted, Hope certainly earned some of it. But when Steffi starts destroying her mother's life, Hope will draw the line. Here's what happens next on Bold and Beautiful. Spoilers ahead. Will Steffi Forrester's dreams on the bold and the beautiful come true? Hope Logan has taken the high road and allowed Steffi to dig in after kissing Dr. Finn. Hope is on thin ice at Forrester Creations and desperately wants to save her fashion line, so she has been on her best behavior. According to Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, all of this is about to change. Since Taylor Hayes returned to Bold, Steffi and Hope have been arguing about which of their mothers belongs to Ridge Forrester. Despite his connection with Brooke Logan, Steffi has implied that Ridge should be with her mother Taylor. B&B Steffi Forrester hasn't even hidden her campaign to reunite her parents. Viewers of The Bold and The Beautiful know that Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester will eventually split up. And when they do, Hope Logan will blame Steffi for breaking her mother's heart. Even if Steffi did not orchestrate the breakup, she will gloat about it, infuriating Hope even more. It's only a matter of time until Hope Logan turns on Steffi Forrester. We all know she was wrong to kiss Finn, but Steffi had been meddling in Hope's affairs long before that. She's also been threatening to axe Hope's line at Forrester Creations and openly blackmailing her. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Hope Logan finally snaps. According to BNB spoilers, Destroying her mother's relationship will be the tipping point for Hope Logan, and Steffi should keep an eye on her. After months of anticipation, the Hope and Steffi conflict is finally about to begin. Hope keeps Taylor's diagnosis a secret from Steffi, and Brooke is skeptical. The Bold and the Beautiful revealed that Hope Logan, Annika Noel, and Carter Walton chose to keep their growing romance between them for the time being, but they had to part ways when Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, strolled into the design studio. Steffi claimed she could see what was going on and imagined Hope was always questioning Carter about her line. When Steffi accused Hope of pitching Hope for the future again, a frazzled Hope pretended it was true. Hope stated that if Steffi was looking for Ridge Forrester, he wasn't there. Steffi insisted she knew where Ridge was, and he was with Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig. Carter fled after attempting to alleviate Hope and Steffi's tensions. Steffi accepted Carter as Hope's friend and warned her not to jeopardize that relationship by constantly badgering her about her line. Steffi also mentioned how valuable Carter was to the company, and how she didn't know what they'd do without him. Hope stated she completely agreed with that. Talk turned back to their mothers, but Hope wanted to try to put an end to Brooke and Taylor's feud from years ago. Steffi stated she didn't want their daughters to witness the anger. Regarding Taylor and Ridge's relationship, Steffi stated that her mother was a nice person who would not end a relationship. Having said that, Steffi felt Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, needed to realize that Ridge and Taylor will always be connected. Brooke remained outside the cliff home on Monday's BNB program, keeping an eye on Taylor and Ridge. Inside, Chandra, Minita Gandhi, informed Taylor that Ridge would help her adjust her heart chakra with the hand he had placed on her chest. Brooke murmured to herself as Chandra recommended a posture to assist activate things, wondering what they were doing in there. Taylor sat in Ridge's lap and looked into his eyes, per Chandra's request. This was a strong position since Ridge and Taylor's chakras were aligned during a period of deep connection. Ridge shed tears as Taylor began to cry, telling her that it was okay to feel. Taylor soon experienced the emotional release that Chandra predicted earlier. While Brooke stared out the window, Taylor fell forward into Ridge's embrace, sobbing as he gripped her tightly. Taylor then apologized to Chandra for being so dubious previously, but Chandra was unconcerned and simply wanted her to keep up the good job to heal her broken heart condition. After Chandra left, Taylor shared a sweet moment with Ridge and thanked him for all of his assistance. Taylor didn't take Ridge for granted and thought how much he cared was a wonderful present, so they hugged before he went. Brooke entered the kitchen after Ridge left and questioned Taylor about what she had just observed. Brooke had no idea what Taylor was up to, but she made it clear that Taylor would not get away with it. Taylor claimed that Brooke's perception was incorrect, and that Ridge was assisting her in dealing with her broken heart syndrome. 
Brooke sneered at the news, saying Taylor had to be teasing her, and she figured this was another attempt to entice Rich back into her life. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Brooke will continue to be skeptical of Taylor's health, so stay tuned for updates on Taylor's attempts to persuade her. Office Romance is on Fire The Bold and the Beautiful B&B Spoilers for Friday, October 11, 2024 See Carter and Hope going all out. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers Sometimes it's really over. Hope Logan, Annika Noel, had to express herself once more with Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton. It is over between them, and has been for more than a year. It doesn't matter that Thomas Forrester Matthew Atkinson is no longer alive. It is really and really over, and Liam must accept it. Hope is even over her brief romance with John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. Carter Walton Lawrence St. Victor has unexpectedly entered Hope's life. They had always been friends, but she never imagined they'd develop affections for each other. Feels strange and out of place, but here we are. Must read. Sean Cannon has strong feelings about his The Bold and the Beautiful co-stars. Hope and Carter share another passionate office kiss, but they resolve to keep their new relationship a secret from everyone else at Forrester Creations. That simply indicates that either Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, or Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, will approach them soon. Both will be appalled, but as they think about it, they will probably realize this is an excellent containment pair, ensuring Hope does not pursue married guys. Still, no one expected Carter and Hope. B&B Spoilers Rich Forrester and Taylor Hayes get closer. Rich Forrester, Torsten K., is the only one who knows Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, has broken heart syndrome. Hence he has become her confidant and comforter. Rich has vowed not to inform anybody else about Taylor's illness for now, but he believes he knows how to make her feel better. Spoilers suggest Rich offers Taylor a peaceful and attentive way to recuperate, which sounds a little risky given his commitment to and engagement to Brooke. Is there anything Brooke should be worried about here? Taylor's shattered heart is plainly caused by losing Ridge again, and finding him again can help her heal. Will Ridge's soothing and careful attention confuse Taylor? She could wind up feeling hopeful and then more upset than before, so Ridge should be cautious around Taylor's vulnerable heart. Brooke confronts Taylor. Prepare for some awkward talks in this week's The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers. Brooke demands answers from Taylor, Eric has some questions for Ridge, Deacon receives wonderful news, and Steffi wonders what Carter and Hope are up to. Awkward. Brooke was taken aback when she looked through the glass and saw Taylor and Ridge in close proximity, unaware that they were simply obeying directions from a spiritual healer. I know what I saw, Brooke says. Taylor, irritated, responds, what you thought you saw. But Brooke isn't letting this go so simply. You were sitting on Ridge's lap. She argues. Can Taylor find a way to explain what they were doing without revealing her medical issues? Meanwhile, Eric is becoming concerned about Ridge's time spent with Taylor since her return to Los Angeles. What's going on between you and Taylor? He asks his son. Can Ridge explain without betraying Taylor's secret? At I.L. Giardino, Brooke and Deacon talk about their life and their daughter. Things are looking up for hope, Brooke says. Deacon smiles and says, I like to hear that. Of course, Neither of them knows why Hope has been so happy lately. But Steffi might be about to find out the truth as she arrives into the design studio and sees Carter and Hope scamper away from each other. Hey Carter, there you are, Steffi announces. I was wondering if... She pauses, realizing she may have walked in on something. What is going on? She inquires. Steffi has had it in for Hope for a long time. And this could be just what she needs to finally get Logan out of Forrester. Why Taylor's Achy, Broken Heart Won't Heal on Bold and the Beautiful October 14th. Ridge wants to help Taylor heal on the Bold and the Beautiful. He sought the assistance of a spiritual healer. She was hired to assist Taylor cleanse her chakras and deal with her broken heart syndrome. But her heart may not be able to heal. Hands-on treatment. Minita Gandhi returned her role as Chandra in the episode airing on Monday, October 14th. She recommended Ridge, Torsten K., and Taylor, Rebecca Budig, to be near to each other during the session. They had to sit on top of one another at one point. Taylor looked straight into Ridge's eyes. She had finally freed her heart chakra. Taylor broke down in tears. She stated that she had finally healed her shattered heart. Taylor is hoping that this would make her feel better. Hopefully, she won't need to take medication anymore. 
Taylor still hasn't told Ridge why she has broken heart syndrome. However, he refused to press her with questions during the session. He was merely there to provide moral support. Not ready to move on, this could be Taylor's plan to entice Ridge back into her life. After all, there was a reason she chose to stay in Los Angeles. She said she wanted to be closer to her family. However, Taylor may be attempting to jump right into Ridge's relationship. Brooke, Catherine Kelly Lang, observed the two from outside the cliff home. She waited until Ridge left before confronting Taylor. Brooke saw through Taylor's aching torn heart. Brooke believes Taylor may be manipulating her sickness to get closer to Ridge. That session was hands-on and sketchy at best. Ridge depended on a new age guru to help Taylor confront her emotions. But this could make her realize she still loves Ridge. Taylor has been in denial about his inability to move on. Ridge has been nothing but nice to her. Taylor might confuse Ridge's generosity for love. She will not be able to heal if she continues to spend time with him, which may exacerbate her pain. The aftermath of Ridge and Brooke's breakup. Brooke and Ridge's marriage has been deteriorating for some time, with outside forces like Taylor Hayes and Steffi constantly aggravating matters. This time, however, the final straw is Ridge's decision to leave Brooke, claiming unaddressed concerns that have persisted for years. Brooke is crushed by the breakup, but Hope takes it much worse. Hope, who has witnessed her mother's turbulent relationship with Ridge over the years, is protective of Brooke and upset that things have gone apart once more. To Hope, the actual issue isn't Brooke or Ridge, but Steffi and her manipulative tactics. Hope's growing resentment towards Steffi. Steffi and Hope have always had a tense relationship, which stems from their competition for Liam Spencer's affections. Their rivalry grew over time to encompass their family relationships, particularly Ridge's divided attention between Brooke and Taylor. Although Ridge has been torn between his two great loves, Brooke and Taylor, Hope believes that Steffi's persistent interfering is what has ultimately drove Ridge away from her mother. Hope's resentment grows as she thinks about recent events. She recalls Steffi constantly inserting herself into Ridge's relationship with Brooke, bringing him closer to Taylor every moment she got. Steffi's subtle comments, well-timed suggestions, and continuous reminders of Ridge's history with Taylor have worn him down, leading him to reconsider his marriage to Brooke. When Ridge publicly abandons Brooke, Hope loses her tolerance. In her eyes, Steffi has played the ultimate role in ripping their family apart once more, and she is determined to express her feelings. Hope's confrontation with Steffi. When Hope and Steffi meet at Forrester Creations, their tensions boil over. It begins as a routine talk about work, but quickly escalates into a full-fledged conflict. You must be thrilled, Hope says, her voice sour. Now that my mom and Ridge are done, you and your mother can finally get what you've always wanted, Ridge all to yourselves. Steffi is taken aback by Hope's unexpected harshness. What are you talking about, Hope? It has nothing to do with me. Ridge and your mother have had troubles for years. Hope scoffs. Oh, Steffi, don't act innocent. You've been tugging strings behind the scenes, pushing Ridge towards Taylor and away from my mother. Don't act like you haven't been waiting for this moment. Steffi's eyes narrowed, her frustration growing. I have not done anything to manipulate Ridge. He made his own choices, Hope. Perhaps your mother should look at her own mistakes rather than blaming everyone else. Hope moves closer, her wrath barely restrained. Mistakes? My mother has often fought for Ridge. She has been devoted to him, but you have been whispering in his ear, reminding him of how wonderful his life was with Taylor. You've been trying for months to break them up, and it's finally happened. Congratulations, Steffi. You got what you wanted. Steffi, tired of the charges, shoots back. Do you think I wanted this? Hope, I am not the one who is unable to let go of the past. Ridge decided to leave your mother because he is weary of all the turmoil. Maybe if Brooke didn't cause so many difficulties, she wouldn't be losing him. The blame game. The chat swiftly turns into a heated argument, with both ladies leveling allegations. Hope refuses to accept Steffi's innocence in the split, while Steffi becomes increasingly defensive, believing that Ridge and Brooke's issues are their own. You and your mother are the problem, Steffi, Hope says. You've never managed to leave well enough alone. You've always been fascinated with convincing Ridge to select Taylor, like a storybook family reunion. So guess what? Families do not work like that. 
You destroyed my only to achieve what you desire. Steffi's rage boils and she responds, This isn't about you, Hope. This is about Ridge and Brooke. You cannot control everything, and neither can your mother. If their marriage ended, it was because they were unable to make it work. Don't blame me for their troubles. Brooke's perspective. Meanwhile, Brooke is stuck in the middle, trying to digest the breakdown of her marriage while also dealing with Hope's outburst. Brooke has long felt the weight of Steffi and Taylor's influence on Ridge, but she also understands that her connection with him has been strained for reasons unrelated to them. Still, when Hope tells Brooke about her argument with Steffi, she can't help but feel a twinge of sympathy. Steffi's always had a way of getting under Ridge's skin, she says. And Taylor. She's never stopped trying to get him back. But we need to be cautious, Hope. Blaming them will not bring Ridge back. We need to concentrate on moving forward. But for Hope, moving ahead is not so simple. She's seen her mother suffer heartbreak after heartbreak, and she's tired of seeing Steffi triumph. What happens next for Hope and Steffi? The aftermath of this confrontation has left both Hope and Steffi reeling. Hope, filled with bitterness, promises to shield her mother from future pain. She is determined not to allow Steffi and Taylor take Ridge away permanently, and she is willing to go to any length to reveal Steffi's role in the split. Steffi, on the other hand, is dissatisfied with Hope's inability to comprehend the big picture. She is tired of being blamed for all of Hope's problems, and she refuses to allow Hope's allegations undermine her own happiness. As tensions between the two women increase, the stage is set for a more intense rivalry, one that could have long-term consequences for both their families and their futures. Ridge and Brooke's relationship is in ruins, and Taylor is waiting in the wings, so Hope and Steffi's war is far from finished. Their next steps could have long-term consequences for the Forrester and Logan families.